Over the past uh, few days, I've noticed that usually when I when I make my Dragon Ball Super episode reviews, I'm usually like a, a few days or at least a day behind uh, a lot of other Dra Dragon Ball Z YouTubers. I wouldn't cons I wouldn't classify classify myself as that. I just like to review on the episodes just because I enjoy Dragon Ball. I enjoy Dra Dragon Ball Super. Dragon Ball Super has just been there. Just so I can have something to look forward to every week, and I feel like that's how it should be brought us. But if you are a passionate person about the series, then I would totally suggest you go watch it, and especially the, the this latest episode of Dragon Ball Super, episode 61, where we where they, where they show off basically the backstory of how Zamasu had gotten the body of Goku, and also the. Uh, <laughs> and also uh, an entirely new transformation of what Trunks has seemed to have achieved in the, f in the final climax of the episode of episode 61 of Dragon Ball Super. It is very early in the morning as I'm recording this, so if I'm talking really quietly a little bit, that's because people are probably sleeping in my house, most likely. They probably haven't woken up yet, so that's just the main reason why I'm, like, I'm not like super excited and also i've kind of calmed down because I, i've been freaking out about the whole new transformation that trunks has but that's besides the point but basically the episode starts off as a recap of showing us that beerus kills uh zamasu in the in the current timeline of of dragon ball super uh they go back to the future and they realize that uh black and zamasu are still there and what we found out from the last episode is that zamasu had swapped bodies with the body of Goku. The heart that's inside of the body of Goku is Zamasu, but the body himself is of Goku's body. It's his actual body. That's what we learned. And now what we learned is that basically the the, the Zamasu that's in the body of Black, or, or not, not Black, but like um, inside of Goku, is obviously from a different timeline, but this timeline's kind of weird just because it's it you know how G Goku is basically a radish farmer now and he has uh, Goten and Chi Chi and Gohan and all that. I don't know what honestly happened, but this is this is clearly a different timeline. And obviously, when uh, Zamasu had killed Gawasu, which is the Kaioshin in Universe Ten, uh, he he made himself and put himself on the throne of the Kaioshin, used the Super Dragon Balls. Yada yada yada, and uh, we see later on in the episode when uh, when uh, Zamasu and Black were explaining uh, what had happened. Oh, yeah, and by the way, the Zamasu that we see in the Future Trunks timeline uh, that is still actual Zamasu, that, and that's just in the Future timeline of Future Trunks' timeline. But that's besides the point. Uh, Black had went on to explain what had happened and stuff like that, and also one more other thing. Uh, the wishes that they had made and used on the Super Dragon Balls, uh, they can't be changed anymore because uh, the Dragon Balls that existed on Earth aren't aren't relevant anymore. Uh, maybe the Namekian Dragon Balls can do something and they still exist. I don't know if they do or not. And uh, the Super Dragon Balls, they actually destroyed them so that way no one can wish for the effects of Zamasu and Black to be there. But anyways. Uh, Black explains that like he used the Super Dragon Balls to wish himself to have the body of Goku. He had then killed Goku in front of his family of Chi Chi and Goten, and uh, you know that that really pissed off Goku. You know because like he basically said that he had killed him before the or after they had swapped bodies in front of the eyes of his wife and his son, his youngest son, and after he had killed Goku in Zamasu's body. He had killed Chi Chi and Goten, which absolutely just threw Goku over the roof. He just went on a on, on he went on a on a bloodbath. He was out for blood. He was going he was going to probably try to kill Black, and he he just threw down the floor of Goku and Zamasu, or not Goku of, of Black and Zamasu. Uh, and it was it was just an incredible scene. It's one of my favorite um, scenes so far in Dragon Ball Super. How it shows that Goku, even though he's not the smartest person in the world, he does care about the ones that he loves most in the world. And even if there's not 
uh, the actual timeline. It doesn't matter to him. It's still his family, and he cares no matter who it is. You know, if they're relevant to him, then he's obviously going to care them, care to him as if he was his own family. And in the case that Black had killed his family, of course he's going to get pissed off, and he, he beat the fuck out of Black and Zamasu. That was one. That is, like I said, that's one of my favorite scenes I've seen so far, and it just it really captured who Goku actually is. He's a very ignorant person, but when it comes to fighting, when it comes to caring about people, he, he really hit the nail on that scene. Really, he did. And then, uh, you know, uh, Bl uh, Black ends up be uh, beating Goku because uh, Black is just so much stronger than Goku all of a sudden. Even with pretty much a rage boost, he, he, he just Goku got beat out and it just didn't work, you know? And then a little bit later on, like a few minutes later, uh, they start going off Zamasu and Black saying that Trunks had made a sin. And basically the sin that he had made was basically that from what he did in the timeline of Dragon Ball Z, that's a sin because the timeline that we, that we were supposed to have going on had changed. And the time rings that exist uh, in, uh, from what, what we know of the Kaioshin, they had changed. One of them had changed. One of the time rings. And the timeline had changed because of Trunks. And they basically kept on saying that Trunks had committed a sin because he had altered the timeline. Uh, time alter uh, Altering time is basically a sin from what we know of now in Dragon, in Dragon Ball. And so because of that, Trunks is starting to get a lot, a lot, he's starting to get a lot more mad. He's starting to get really upset at uh, even more than he was before at, at Black and Zamasu. And then uh, him and Vegeta start start fighting each other. And then, you know, Trunks gets beat out because he's not as strong as Black and stuff like that. And then here's here's comes one of my favorite things that... <laughs> here comes the climax of the episode. We see Trunks there on the ground. And he's mad. He's really, really mad. And then he has some type of transformation of sorts. And the reason why I say the transformation is because... It's him still as a Super Saiyan. He bulks up, not like as like super bulky Trunks. No, like not from when he fought Cell for the first time. No, he kind of bulks up a little bit. Like for example, how um, SSJ2 Gohan did when he was fighting Cell. Think of it like that. But the difference with with this is that he stayed in his Super Saiyan transformation. Uh, basically, he still had the gold aura, but it was mixed in with the blue aura of a Super Saiyan Blue. And this is what people have been speculating in the climax of the final episode. People are debating whether or not this is a false, uh, a false Super Saiyan Blue, because if you remember in uh, Dragon Ball Z movie four, I believe, with Lord Slug, uh, Goku in that movie had turned into a false Super Saiyan. He had he had the gold aura, but just not the golden hair. And for and uh, like what happened in the, in the in the climax of episode sixty one, Trunks had basically turn into a god but not really he kind of just has the aura and the god and the or the power of a god but still retains his super saiyan form and if people are are, um, are speculating whether or not that he uh he's kind of like he's kind of like broly in the sense that in the transformation uh he doesn't have any pupils it's like his eyes are just like full on like just white just like they're full on white People are speculating that it's kind of like, that he's kind of like Broly now, but that doesn't that that really wouldn't make any sense at all. I don't I don't really believe that. Uh, I think I think I've seen it somewhere that uh that uh, he uh, he uh, attained a form of of his ascended Super Saiyan Blue, but that doesn't make very much sense either because uh, why would he retain the Super Saiyan form? I don't know. Maybe he's maybe he has a uh, God Key within him because he had trained for however long he had with Vegeta and as you know Vegeta has God Key just like Goku and now when Trunks had trained with Vegeta maybe he had attained a little bit of God Key which had which is which is basically giving him the uh, the power of a god and also a rage boost because future Trunks as you know he comes where he comes from a timeline where basically everyone's dead people that he cares about is dead his mom's dead his friends are dead. His father's dead. You know, the only other person that he cares about uh, was close to being dead. 
Uh, he he's just got so much fucking depression. I don't understand how he just keeps on going on and on and on, just uh, just how he is, and he just keeps fighting. That's why Future Trunks is um has become some people's favorite characters because he's he's so passionate about saving everybody, and that's what he wants to do. He just wants to save everybody that he cares about that's still alive and, and out there, you know. But they they just they just keep on like dying like everyone he cares about just keeps on dying it's, it's almost as if he just can't have anybody that he cares about in his life and that just threw him over the top and he basically had just gotten himself a new transformation and then of course it, uh, it ends off the fucking episode and i was like bruh you can't end off the episode showing off a new transformation for trunks and just and just have us all just be like oh okay we'll just wait till the next fucking episode no, I want to see what the fuck's gonna happen. Honestly, I'm I'm very very excited for next week, around uh, uh next week around uh, around Saturday uh, Sunday, because right now it's Sunday at around 7:30 uh, a.m. where I'm at right now. It's it's like I said, it's Sunday. Yeah, I just watched it. I'm hyped. I'm excited. If you guys want to leave theories of what form this uh, this transformation is for Trunks, uh. Leave, it, leave your theories down in the comments and uh, I'll read a couple of them and maybe I'll talk about them if you guys really want me to and make a video on them but as for right now uh, I think I'm going to leave it leave in the description to uh, Geekdom, uh, Geekdom 101's video about the transformation of, uh, of Trunks because he kind of goes into a little bit more in depth and it was a really good video I actually watched it before I actually uh, made this video so I highly recommend that you guys go check it out just, uh, just for the sake of if you guys want to see Dragon Ball content that's better than what I have, and just anything like Star Wars related, because he also does Star Wars uh, a little bit as well, just go check out just go check out his channel. He's 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 an amazing YouTuber. He's an amazing Dragon Ball YouTuber. I would highly recommend that you guys go and subscribe to him. Anyways, uh, I've, I've been recording for about 12 minutes now. Uh, I can't really contain myself right now. I'm, I'm like kind of running out of breath a little bit because I'm still. You know, just antsy and excited about uh, Dragon Ball uh, Dragon Ball Super Episode 61. Uh, if you guys want to go see it, just go look online somewhere and uh, just enjoy what there is. But um, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end up the video now. Yeah, I literally mean now. But anyways, um, if you guys did enjoy this video and you want to see more Dragon Ball Super content in the future, be sure to leave a like and subscribe and leave a comment saying what kind of transformation this is for Trunks because I'm actually kind of interested what you guys think. I think that it's basically just Trunks in his Super Saiyan form, but with God Key, and that's basically all it is. Now, is he going to be strong enough to like beat out Black? Eh, I don't know. That's a theory for a whole other day, in which I might um, might do, might not do, but it kind of depends if I have someone to discuss it with or not, but we'll see. Anyways, like I said, uh, if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, subscribe, leave a like, leave comments, and stuff like that. I'll see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day.